So Kathy Wood from ARK Invest is starting a Bitcoin ETF. Wood has been a longtime crypto bull. She's also gotten a wide following on social media and on Reddit. Some people call her Queen Kathy. She's got entire forums devoted to sort of following her trades and what her ETFs do. And so she is really seen as a barometer for some of these high growth stocks and interest from retail investors. In that sense, this is pretty symbolic that Kathy Wood is getting into Bitcoin directly versus betting on Coinbase, Grayscale's Bitcoin Trust, which are sort of these indirect ways of buying Bitcoin. This way, if she does get approval for an ETF, she's able to go directly, give ex uh, investors exposure to Bitcoin prices. So Kathy Wood is hardly the only one looking to launch a Bitcoin ETF. There are now eight applications in with the SEC to launch an almost identical investment vehicle. Uh, one of these was delayed just last week. The SEC postponed a decision and it has been sort of kicking the can down the road in terms of making a decision. It's cited things like market structure and really has not taken this head on. And I'm sure there's a lot going on behind the scenes, but Bitcoin investors have been waiting for an ETF for years. So really this, this is not new in the sense of a Bitcoin ETF and the idea of that being floated, but Kathy Wood as a symbolic crypto bull for a lot of people in the industry, this is big news. So Bitcoin ETF would give investors exposure to the prices of Bitcoin without actually holding the Bitcoin themselves. So if you didn't want to open a Coinbase account, for example, you might be able to buy Bitcoin or get exposure to Bitcoin on your current brokerage firm. So say you're using Charles Schwab, for example, you don't want to open up a new account, but you want a little bit of exposure to the price of Bitcoin and that appreciation or depreciation as we've seen in the past couple of months investors might want to go that route. And in the beginning, when this idea was first being floated, it was really seen as a way to get more institutional investors involved. And those who might not really legally be able to buy Bitcoin or their investors might not like the idea of them actually holding cryptocurrencies, maybe for security reasons or regulatory reasons. One thing that's changed since the idea of a Bitcoin ETF was first floated is that a lot of institutional investors are just going direct and owning Bitcoin. So the need for an ETF is seen as less important at this stage in Bitcoin. We've seen in the past year, it really has become a mainstream institutional investment. You've had companies like Tesla, Square, MicroStrategy, putting Bitcoin directly on their balance sheet. Some have argued that now that Bitcoin is so mature, we don't necessarily need a Bitcoin ETF to get that sort of institutional adoption for crypto.